Hey guys, I'm back. I um, wanted to show you one quick a little uh, discovery I made, or that was given to me recently. This is a, a really cool discovery. It is a new um, hardy type citrus that we um, that it was found growing here in Chesapeake, which is not too far from Virginia Beach where I live. Good uh, citrus buddy of mine, a longtime uh, friend. Uh, he um, <clears throat> he is. Um, quite a citrus enthusiast also he um, was on some of the local uh, Facebook uh, clubs here and uh, groups and um, made contact with a person that said that she had some sort of lemon growing in her yard and uh, he went over to take a peek at it and uh, found a tree that um, was quite interesting it is uh, got tri, bi and uh, unifoliate leaves uh, what's interesting about this tree is um, the the middle um, leaf leaflet here is pretty long. It's almost kind of like a, an orange or lemon, uh, the way it looks. And um, I'm pretty happy to get this right. If you look on this side of it, there's trifoliate leaves. And you got to excuse me that the way I've got this set up, I kind of lost my tripod. So I just got this kind of set up uh, all rigged up um, just to show you what's going on here. But um, this tree, once I get a chance to go over and look at it, I'll try to get some pictures and really show you what it looks like. But what's interesting uh, and notable is that this tree survived the polar vortexes um, that killed off a lot of my trees. Um, I think it was back in, uh, say, 2013 or 14, where it got down to dang near close to zero degrees. It was like three or four degrees. I lost almost half of my collection and um, this is it on its own roots so it um, did survive that so that is pretty notable I think it was 2013 but I think Chesapeake is, is about the same zone as me some parts might be a little colder so let's look at the fruit here I show you to the leaves this is the fruit it is um, Obviously, I try fully across, but the, if you look at this the rind here, there is no fuzz on it. It doesn't um, have any of the the funky scent to it that a trifoliate would have, and um, and also the uh, it's got a cool color to it. It's like it does look sort of like a a nice bright yellow color to it. And let me show you with the little my macro lens I've got here sort of kind of so that's what it looks like nice and kind of round about a size of a um, I guess a racquetball and let's cut it open let me show you actually first how let's measure it it is about five centimeters and uh, or about close to two inches diameter uh, no funky scent to the outside of it and we'll cut it open this is kind of like how it looks next to a quarter let's cut it open and kind of give it a taste I've not tried this yet we're going to be careful to open it and it's got tons of juice get it open Does have a okay? Does have a little bit of a skunk, skunky scent to it. Now here is what the inside looks like. There's quite a few seeds. Well, it's got a moderate amount of seeds. Some of these crosses have all kinds of seeds in them. But um, let's give it a taste. Okay. Okay. So a little bit of metallic taste to it. It's got some skunky flavor. Um, it has a little bitter to it too. So um, you probably could use this um, in a pinch or maybe for breeding. Let me get a bricks reading on it. It does have some bitter to it. So that is a little concerning
Bricks is reading at um, 11. So it does have some sweet, but the there is kind of a bit of a bitter taste to it. And um, now that I've kind of bitten into it, let me, let me try to get it without the... I kind of bit the rind a little bit. But let's look at this. Yeah. So, I'm going to be honest with you. <clears throat> Nothing I'd really kind of want to eat. <coughs> Might be useful <clears throat> in breeding or um, as a rootstock. Um, I've got to look. I'm still curious to see what the tree looks like and uh, see how... Um, <clears throat> How well it survived. I don't know if it died down. It's got multiple trunks or not. <clears throat> but that's what the seed look like looks like. And uh, this is kind of a cool discovery, you know. Just just finding about trees that kind of survived out here. It's kind of a big deal. And I just wanted to share this with you. This is kind of really neat. Now, um, my tongue is kind of kind of got like a um it's kind of buzzing i don't know if you know i don't know if that's the right word for it but it is kind of tingling from this so it does have kind of a good a good amount of trifoliate overtones and some skunkiness to it it is november i don't know if um it would be any better if it could hold on a little longer but just give you a kind of a view of the the foliage here. There's a single leaf. This one's a tri. And these are all tri. These look like just regular trifoliate leaves right here. So I'm <clears throat> not sure what we're gonna call this or what this looks like to you guys, but it is a trifoliate cross that um I'm gonna keep an eye on. I might graft the specimen out just um to see how much cold it'll take and uh i don't know maybe it's a you know, as an overall tree when i get to look at it it might be a uh, kind of ornamental but i guess that's it for now new citrus hardy citrus discovery i wanted to share with you and uh i'll try to get some more videos out been really super busy working on a bunch of projects trying to get the trees in trying to work on my um uh, my classic mini and stuff but yeah i've just been too busy to and sorry to all the people that i've kind of mentioned or promise seeds and some stuff to get sent out to you. Uh, I'll try to get all that out, but I promise um, I'll try to keep uh, keep going and uh, getting some videos out even though I'm so busy. But thanks for watching guys, and I will catch you around next time. Take care.